Okay. Uh, I guess this is part two of uh, the Sailor RT144 restoration. Um, so I have proceeded to take quite a bit of it apart. I had a big job getting the knobs off. This one here, it was just so rusty that uh, I had to cut it through. I couldn't get it apart. I didn't want to destroy the, 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 the it's just the, the dimmer and I can probably replace that pot. The one I didn't want to damage was this on off one watt switch, which I've managed to get off. Uh, without doing too much further damage the squelch was a funny little thing but it's uh, it's come apart so we managed to get that off the channel selector I managed to get that off in one piece uh, just lots of oil and manipulation kind of got it so I think I can do something now uh, right so we can remove the fascia and we can get rid of that and there is the channel mechanism I've, I have freed it up there was a, um, a sort of stopper here uh, which was absolutely rusted solid I have stripped this down and uh, it's going to need a new ball bearing, which I can order up. There's the light, the lamp. I don't think that works too well. Yeah, just getting used to working behind this camera. Um, and then there's the dial. I have uh, already removed this dial and cleaned it. As you can see, looking a little bit better. And then there's this index plate underneath uh, which is obviously for channel selection I have had all this part and I've cleaned that index plate it was very very dirty there's the index plate it's covered in grease on the back. I've put it in a solution, cleaned off all the grease, we really need to oil it up and put that there. And then there's all these uh, sort of wafer switches here, which again I've given clean. But you can see there's a little bit of corrosion, but I think we can clean it all up. This uh, cog rotates all right. We can do that. I'm not sure how these switches work. I'll, I, I I haven't taken any of this apart. I will I will take those apart and clean them. I think they're fairly important. There's the dimmer pot that I saw it off. I think I can get a replacement for that. For that. And then there was another little trick with this radio I discovered is I'll turn it over and show you that in a minute. The speaker doesn't work. Um. It feels like it's stuck so I'm going to get that out next and then we'll have a look at the inside and see how we go from there okay all for now bye